What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kamal Forest. Hope you're ready to find one south as we walk through the forest. I'm excited. Let's play first. Who, who are we playing against? We've got some Archangel Avacyn. Okay, little, uh, yeah, actually, the color identity is red-white, I'm pretty sure, on that one. As far as our opening hand goes, we got Moss Fort Bridge. Ooh, we got Omnath. Seasons Pass. Is there is, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll keep on this one. We got a little Omnath in here. I, I enjoy playing with Omnath. He is a very fun, uh, just a fun magic card in general. Uh, let's go and go for the Moss Warp Bridge. See what we hit off top. Uh, we're going to get the little hideaway action. Let's get the graveyard squared up. Then I'll cover our commanders, what we got going on here in just a second. Pretty sure, well, I don't know if she's mono white or she's technically red white. Um, let's go ahead and go for, where do we go? If we have power 10 or more. Let's go ahead and go. Yeah, if we got 10 power or more, Overwhelming Stampede seems like an awesome thing to cast for one. So let's go ahead and grab that Overwhelming Stampede. Put that. Let's put these on any order on the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. We're playing Kamal, Fist of Krosa. One green mana, target land becomes a 1 1 creature until end of turn. It's still a land. Then for 5 mana, creatures you control get plus 3 and gain trample until end of turn. Playing against Avacyn, Archangel Avacyn. She has Flash. Uh, all right, let's get this wall of text up and running. Flash, flying vigilance. Whenever she enters the battlefield, creatures you control get indestructible to end of turn. Then whenever a non-angel creature you control dies, transform um, Avacyn at the beginning of the next upkeep. Uh, whenever this creature transforms into Avacyn, they purify it, deals three damage to each other creature and each opponent. Okay, there we go. And I'll be honest, I I think it's red white. I think you can go red white or maybe just white. I think just white. Because there's no mana symbols in there, so that would make sense. But uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, we draw a ghost quarter. Uh, let's go ahead and get the forest down. Anything we want to get down for two? No, we're okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn. So next turn, we're looking at getting down Omnath. We can get into spots so we can start saving up that green mana. And then hopefully if we can draw into something like uh, Cultivate or Rampant Growth, we can kind of get our lane drops online and kind of ramp into that and kind of have some fun. As far as the rest of the hand goes, we do have Tooth and Nail. Um, this would not be mono green if uh, Crater Hoof was not hanging out in the deck somewhere. So uh, we might be... Uh, Tooth and Nail is a really good target for uh, Crater Hoof. That's always fun. And then another fun target to pair with Crater Hoof is the... Um, I cannot remember his name. It's the Lieutenant. It has, like, the Lieutenant ability. If we have a commander... I'll cover that in just a second. Let's, let's get our turn up and running. Let's go and get the... Uh, let's get Mr. Omnath down. Yeah, let's go and get the Force down. That will waste down line for... Yeah, it is red-white. Excuse me. I, I thought it was red-white, but I couldn't remember. Uh, let's go and go Omnath. And that way we can have... The, if they have some sort of removal, so be it. Uh, if not, then we can start banking up that green mana. And then uh, we, can get in this, we can get down Ghost Quarter or uh, Strip Mine down uh, next turn and then kind of go, go from there. Uh, yeah, I play with Strip Mine in here to basically just take out Guy's Cradle <laughs> or something like that. We're, we're not going to blast our opponent's mountain, so that's just not my particular play style. So uh, as the game progresses, if you're wondering why I'm not going to use the Strip Mine in that manner, that is completely why. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I'm just like aggressive land destruction. Uh, what is the card I'm trying to think of? It is, I think it's, uh, I think it's Thunderfoot Bailoff. It's a Thunderfoot Bailoff. Basically, all the creatures get plus two, plus two, as long as we control our commander. And then they all have, I think they have Trample. So, pretty fun to grab off that tooth and nail. But, uh, yeah, I, when I sat down, I wanted to build a new deck. Whenever I see Kamal just kind of pop up randomly in my matches, I'm just always just kind of like, I don't, man, I love Kamal. He, he's a fun card. Um, I, oh, he's one of my favorite paper cards. That, ooh, Breon, WrestleMania. Um, <laughs> being Benitos. Um, but yeah, as far as Kamal goes, I picked up a heavily played copy of him. And uh, it's definitely one of my favorite magic cards that I have in my collection. Just because uh, it looks like he was played a lot. And so, I don't know why. I was just like, hey, let's build a Kamal deck. And actually, I don't have a mono green, like a true mono green ramp deck. Okay, we draw the natural order. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Ghost Quarter down. Uh, we're looking at four mana. We could natural order sack the Omnath, but I think right now we just kind of want to save up that green mana. Uh, they didn't go for anything to kind of blast Omnath last turn, so and they're sitting at two cards in the hand, so I think we're okay. We got the uh, Cather out there, Creatures Control get plus one, and then we have Breon swinging in for four with that life link. Now, that life link is going to matter, but uh, at least we're looking at, let's kind of re-rack on how much mana we got. So we're going to be adding that three green mana to our mana pool. We're going to be able to carry that over into the next turn, which is going to be 7 mana, uh, 8 mana with the land drop for Strip Mine. So we can't get into a spot where we get down Kamal, Fist of Krosa, and then kind of go from there. Um, we do have Seasons Pass in the hand. Return any number of cards or different mana costs from your graveyard to your hand, then put it on the bottom. But, as you can tell, we have no cards in the graveyard. So, uh, we need kind of get a little bit more action up and running. And we can get Azuri's down. So basically, for each creature that our opponents control, create a 4-4 green beast token. Each of those creatures fights a different one of those creatures. So we're looking at saving 3 mana, uh, carry over next turn, and then we'll have... We can actually get into spots where we could cast the uh, Azuri's uh, Predation down if we want to. And then Avacyn does have... 
They gain indestructible until end of turn. Okay. So we can't get into spots where we can actually cast this and get those beast tokens, uh, take out a few of them, and then take out the cather over there and still be left up with a little beast token. So we may end up going for that. Kind of depends on uh, what else we draw into. And we still have natural order, so we can actually use natural order on one of those beast tokens to kind of grab something else. So we'll kind of decide what we want to go for with that. I'll see if Mr. WrestleMania is going to swing in. <laughs> but yeah, I've got Breon WrestleMania. I was actually worried. It just made me laugh that Breon popped up because I've been working on uh, a new intro for uh, Breon. So <laughs> you might be seeing Breon coming in the coming future. Okay, so we've got Breon Stoudarn swinging in. The Luchador himself drops us down to 26. Anything else our opponent's going to do? No. Let's go and add that green mana to our mana pool. So we're going to have three mana. That's going to be a 4 4 Omnath. And we draw into Nature's Claim. Um. A couple things we can go for is if we go for the Chromatic Lantern, uh, that's going to turn off their white mana, so we may end up going for that. Let's go Strip Mines. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go and go Azuri's. Uh, yeah, let's go and get that down. We can get our um, get those Beast Tokens up running. They're going to fight everybody. It is just Flash and Vigilance, right? Yeah, just make sure it does not have Indestructible. So let's go ahead and go for that. We'll get green. We're going to get those Beast Tokens. Kind of be a little bit of a board wipe, and then we can kind of have a nice little uh, sack outlet for uh, Natural Order. Not a sack outlet, but a creature to sacrifice to Natural Order and grab something out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and swing in for one. Avacyn gets sent back, sent back to the Command Zone, and yeah, we can go and get in for one. Look at that Beast Token, man. Gnarly. All right, <laughs> going to come in hot, uh, drop them down to 37. Make sure they don't get to that uh, the old 40. 40 life total, and then we'll kind of uh, re-rack on what we got going on. Um, we can, okay, exile target creature, gain life. All right, fair enough, man. Swords of Plowshare, and then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, now, if we don't hit the land drop next turn, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, we're going to have 5 mana, but we're going to be online to get down a natural order. So things that we can go for natural order would maybe be like an Avenger of Zendikar. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, four. We'll have 5 lands, so there'll be 5 plant tokens. And we can even do that before we make the land drop to kind of just get into a spot where we can kind of uh, hopefully kind of push past our opponent. Selfless Spirit. Okay, let's make sure we pop Avacyn back up too. Okay. So we draw for the turn. If it is, um, if we do never go natural order on Avengers Zendikar, we may just hold on to the land drop. See, see what we draw into though. Okay, draw into another forest. So if we swing in with the beast token, we're going to get in for four, and then we go natural order on Avengers Zendikar and make the land drop, uh, get some nice little bonuses to all our plant tokens, and then... We have that, uh, if we have that total power or greater with the Moss Sword Bridge, we might be able to kind of close it out. So let's go and swing in with the Beast Token first. I'm not, they've got one card in hand, so I, we're okay with swinging in. If they want to trade with the Selfless Spirit, then uh, so be it. Okay. Coming in hot for four. Dropping down to 34, if there's no blocks. Okay. And then let's go ahead and go Natural Order on the Beast Token. Sacrifice the Beast Token. Uh, we're going to get the Avenger of Zendikar down. We're going to end up with uh, five plant tokens out there. Let's double check that's the exact target that we want. Um, so we're looking at Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, that's going to give us the most... And we still have Tooth and Nail to grab Crater Hoop too, so... Um, yeah, I like Avenger of Zendikar. We need to get that power from running for the, uh, the bridge. So let's grab Avenger of Zendikar. Let's get near the battlefield. We're going to get all those plant tokens on the battlefield. And let's go ahead and get down the forest. Okay, there we go. Put a plus one counter on all of them. And let's go ahead and blast the Nate, the Chromatic Lantern. That way it's going to cut them off on white man. Yes, we're going to use that ability. <laughs> I don't know why we would not want to. Uh, let's go ahead and go Nature's Claim on the Chromatic Lantern. Just to kind of cut them off on white mana. That way they can't recast uh, Avacyn. Okay, so we're going to gain that life. And as far as our total power goes, we are sitting at 10 power. So we're with the Overwhelming Stampede uh, underneath the bridge, uh, we're looking at giving them all plus 5, plus 5, and Trample Damage. So we're looking at... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we'll get into spots where we can fire that off. Okay, Stoneforge Mystic. We can basically fire the, um, and they're going to gain Trample too, where X is the greatest power among creatures we control. So we're looking at uh, 5 times 5. 6 times 5, we're looking at 30. Plus um, 5 from the Avenger Zendikar. Uh, and then we make the land drop, that'll be an, another added bonus, and plus 5 from the base creature. So we're looking at like 40 points of damage coming across. And they got the Collar up and running off the Stoneforge Mystic, so... Hopefully we'll be able to we definitely have the power online to cast the uh, cast that up and running. Um, as far as anything else that we need, if we hit the land drop, we can get down Kamal. I'm trying to think yeah, if we can maybe get a few more creatures, but I, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, and, and this is what I enjoy about Kamal. You know, this deck doesn't like live or die if we don't get Kamal out. There's just sometimes where you kind of have to be a little bit more aggressive to fight some of these decks, and um, you know, nat natural order on the. Um, 
on our beast token to get the Avengers into car kind of helped us push us to kind of get into that spot. Uh, we still have Seasons Pass, so we can actually bring back the uh, Azuris. We can bring back the Nature's Claim and the Natural Order to kind of rally from there. And if they're chump blocking on the Selfless Spirit, activating the Skull Clamp, I'll definitely take that. So if they're going to be drawing cards, it still leaves them only three mana. Or actually, okay, they finally hit the second white source off the planes. We're still looking at it only four mana, though. Enlightened Tutor. Search your library for an artifact or enchantment. Reveal it. Put it on top of your library. So see what they reveal off that one. And they still have the Caller in their hand. Actually, excuse me, one second. Okay, sorry about that. But, on a side note, if you want to go visit the forest where Kamal lives, as his nice little druid, head over to mtgotraders.com. That's where the forest is all set up, and the one that we're trying to protect. And, if you don't know, I'm making uh, videos for their actual official uh, MTGO Traders YouTube page, so uh, head on over there and hit the subscribe button. That way you get notifications on uh, whenever my videos go live. Alright, so we get the forest down. There's going to be an added bonus to the plant token. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So they'll get the plant, the bonus, and we also get into spots where we can actually ghost quarter our own land to get a forest out and still amplify that effect out if we're worried about that. In fact, let's go ahead. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's go ahead and go for that. We can get the added bonus. Uh, let's go ahead and choose, uh, actually hit cancel, uh, add green, let's go ahead and get the coast quarter down on the forest. They'll get another land from the plant tokens, that land will come into the battlefield, and then we can go ahead and cast the moss water bridge off that last green floating, yes we're going to use that ability, and then use that last green floating mana. Okay, beautiful man, just like we drew it up. <laughs> yes, 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 where is it, okay we have to click on it. Okay, they're going to get that overwhelming stampede up and running. Creatures in control gain trample and get plus X, where X is the greatest power. Uh, we're sitting at power 5 right now, so we're looking at 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40 in plant tokens. I will take that. That is a very forced way to die. I know Kamal is very happy. Our opponent does have 3 mana up, so basically the only thing we're kind of watching out for would be like a Chaos Warp or something like that, um, that they can kind of re-rack. <laughs> well, unless they just say, Welp, I'm dead, then that kind of <laughs> kind of gets it up and running. Okay, so let's go ahead and swing in. We're looking at, yeah, 8, 16, 24. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. That nice little trample damage. Yes, yes, yes. This is pretty much a mono green ramp right here, man. Uh, I'm glad we built the day. Hey, come on, man. Sorry we couldn't get you out there, but it's just kind of the way we sequ sequence things. Okay, so we get the Stone Forge Mystic blocking. We're going to get the go down to negative 10. I will take that. We're looking, yeah, that was a uh, nice little match over there. Avenger of Zendikar putting in some work. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks.